what's my quickest answer to how do we grow our audience on Instagram? Okay, so I'm going to try to do this in, in, in three minutes here. I'm going to set a timer. So number one is that um, you start on Instagram probably with your friends and your colleagues, um, classmates, people that acquaintances, people you know that would probably be interested in your content too. So that's like step one is have you followed, have you looked them up? And make a list and Instagram will probably give you suggestions based on your Facebook friends and all that stuff. So if you follow the people that probably want a relationship with you professionally or personal relationship, many of them will follow you back. Not all of them, obviously you can't expect that. So number one, that's number two is um, a lot of people use hashtags on Instagram. I am, I am not a huge fan of hashtags in my Instagram course. I actually do teach how to research hashtags and what I what I did for a period of time, although I probably would continue doing, I'm a little too, too lazy to use hashtags because hashtags is not as hashtags to do it well and to not have a bunch of bots follow you and and spam your your content in terms of in terms of comments and get, hashtags usually just gets a bunch of spam and bots following you. Um, so you have to do it well by researching the right ones and using it well. So. I'm, I'm going to give a tentative maybe to hashtags unless you want to research how to do it well and or take my course if you uh, are, can afford it, et cetera. So that's number two is maybe hashtags. Three is ads. I run ads uh, via Instagram to distribute my best content and my offers as well, my services program, et cetera. But I, I run ads all the time. And, and even just $10, 10 US dollars on Instagram ads can help you reach 1000 targeted people, people who might become your clients or your ideal readers or your ideal viewers. So think about it, just spend 10 to $30 a month on Instagram ads. And that's, uh, that's very, without you having to use hashtags, that's definitely a very reliable way to grow a very targeted audience. Okay. Ads, number three, number four, I still have, a, looks like I have a minute left. Number four is um, collaborations or collabs as some people call it. Uh, which is when you do Instagram lives with other people who have an audience. So usually you would do this with people who have a similar sized audience as you between 50% to 200%, meaning you have a hundred followers and they have 50 or they have 200, you know, a similar enough size. If you, if you reach out, if they you have a bit of a relationship with them uh, or you want to strike up a relationship, you might do an Instagram live. And that way, when you do an Instagram live, both of your audiences who are online on Instagram at the time will be notified that you're live. And, and that's a, another way to grow an audience. And finally, I've got 20 seconds left. The most truly long-term reliable way is by posting content that gets shared. Um, so you have to understand what your ideal audience wants. Over time, as you post more content, you'll notice what gets, what gets liked the most and repost the best stuff and post more things like that. And as you things go on, uh, get shared, you'll grow your uh, targeted audience that way as well. Just over three minutes. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for asking.